Hi there, and welcome back to Jam Chemistry class. And of course, in this class, we are going to be looking at the spin quantum number. Earlier before now, we have discussed the principal quantum numbers. We have discussed the azimuthal or the subsidiary quantum number. We have discussed the magnetic quantum number, and this is the last quantum number called the spin quantum number. So, spin quantum number. Now, the spin quantum number is represented by the letter S, right? Letter S. Now, the spin quantum number has only two values. Its only values are plus 1 over 2 and minus 1 over 2. These are the only two values for the spin quantum number. Now, when uh, writing electronic configuration using the box diagram method, box diagram method, which we are going to see very soon, but the next step is also to discuss electronic configuration. Now, when drawing electronic configuration of atoms, we're writing rather the electronic configuration of atoms, now of electrons rather, you see that what the uh, spin quantum number is usually what presented by what by two arrows, one facing upward. You see a box like this, right? One facing upward, one what facing what downward, right? Then you see another box like this of higher energy than it, right? See one facing upward, one arrow facing upward, one facing downward. Then you see another box of higher energy in three degenerates, right? One, two, three. One, two, three. You see an arrow coming like this, another one coming like this. Uh, sorry, another one, one coming like this, another one coming like this. Another one coming like this, then you see another one coming up, coming up, then coming up, right? So this is the electro, uh, uh, the electron box diagram method of writing electronic configuration. If you see the arrows, they are usually what face, they are also usually opposite each other. Now uh, it's showing that what that 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 their that their signs are opposite, like here from here, positive and negative. Their signs are opposite, but they are of the same magnitude, right? They are of the same what magnitude. Despite the fact that their signs are opposite, they are of the same magnitude. So they are drawn like this in the electron bus, bus diagram to remind us, to remind us the fact that what that although they are in opposite signs, but they are of the same what magnitude. So just keep this in mind. We are going to get to electronic configuration soon. A very very interesting part of this class also. Now please do not forget that this video tutorial is brought to you. By the O3 Schools Jam CBT practice app. It is being displayed on your screen right now. Please head over to Play Store, download the app. It has all the past questions, all the recent past questions that you need, even for more than one models, because some of you write at different times. So uh, your questions may be different from each other. All the past questions are available on the app. And another thing is another wonderful feature you can explore is the jump the jump UTME challenge where you compete with other jump bites to win prizes. There are up to 20 challenges before your main jump exam. So you write your the you participate in the challenge, you see your score, you can be able to know where uh, you need to improve upon, you know your weaknesses and you know your strengths, and then know the areas to improve upon. It's a very, very, very wonderful feature. There are so many other wonderful features, such as the question search feature, uh, jam novels. What the, and so many as they are, but please get this app. You don't need to be told to get it. Right, activation of the app is just two thousand five hundred naira. It's a one-time payment. Once you pay, the app forever remains activated on your phone, provided you do not use your own hand to delete the app from your phone or to flash your phone or format your phone. Right now, let's head back to what we are discussing today. Now, I'm going to use um uh. I'm going to use a uh, a table to explain further, right? I'm going to use a table to explain further, right? Now, in the table, what I'm going to draw, you have to assume that what uh, that each spin represents an electron. You have to 
you have to uh, assume that each spin represents an electron. Once you assume that each spin uh, represents an electron, you will discover you discover that the total number of electrons that can be found in a shell, number of electrons, number of electrons, electrons that can be found in the shell is given by the formula two n squared. It's given by the formula two n squared. Now with this formula, it shows that uh, the k and the m shell, for example, k and m shell, right, which which correspond to principal quantum number k is what principal quantum number one, n is one here, in m uh, is what is three. Principal quantum number in the m shell is three. All right, so it corresponds to to number three. Now two n squared. If you apply this formula here, it will be what two into what one square. Right, if you apply the formula, it's what two into what three square. All right, two into one square is what two times one. Then this is what two times what nine. That means here about two electrons where it was eighteen electrons. This means that what there are a total of what two electrons in the K shell, and there are a total of what eighteen electrons in the what in the M shell. The same is true for all other shells. It's true for all other shells. Let's see the table quickly. Let's see the table quickly. Let's see the table quickly. Now, if you have shell, you have shell, all right, that's a K, for example. Then you have what, uh, here you have principal quantum number. Principal quantum number represented by, by the letter N, right? Good. Right, that's principal quantum number. Then the next one is the azimuthal quantum number uh, represented with the letter L. Azimuthal quantum number, letter L, right? Then we have the magnetic quantum number with the letter M. Then we have the spin, right? Presented by the letter S. Then this here is what number of electrons, all right? Number of electrons given by the formula what 2n square isn't it all right so this is the first shell all right k shell all right the k shell uh, uh correspond to what with crystal quantum number one all right then the azimuthal quantum number is what now uh, i do i do get the azimuthal quantum number as my quantum number is from what from zero to what n minus one right if you go back to our videos of azimuthal quantum number, you see how I will get the uh, azimuthal quantum number. Then to get the magnetic is from minus L to minus L to plus L. All right. If you go back to the video, you see that. Then the spin has two values only. All right. So this is the K shell. This is the principal quantum number. This is azimuthal. This is magnetic. All right. This is spin. Right, this is what number of what of electrons. All right, so now let's head back. So, k now the azimuthal will be what from zero to n minus one when k is what uh, uh is one, azimuthal is what zero, zero magnetic will also be what with zero. If you put l here, yes, l zero if l is zero from minus zero to plus zero, it should be zero. All right, this p will be what uh plus one over two, comma minus one over two. One number of electrons in the K shell will be 2n squared because n is 1, it will be what? 2 electrons. So only 2 electrons can be found in the what? In the, in the K shell. So with this, you can be able to uh, complete the table. All right? With the, with, 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 with the first one we have done, you can be able to complete the table. But at this K, then L shell now, we have what now? Uh, Corresponding to principal quantum number 2, right? As we will be 1, right? Then, Magnetic will be from when L is one. Magnetic will be from minus one, minus one, zero, plus one. Right? It will have three values. Remember? So please go back to the videos if you do not understand. So now I'm going to add uh, the spin for this first minus one will be what? Plus one over two, minus one over two, plus one over two, minus one over two, plus one over two, minus one over two. Now this will be the spin for each of them all right then number of electrons in the l shell corresponding to 2n square using 2n square i want to have what eight electrons in the what in the uh in the l shell i do find that this is two 
two electrons square. Two square is four, so I'm two times four is what is eight. That means eight electrons can be found in the L shell. All right, so we go on with that. Then let's just take one more. Let's say M, M shell. This is three, and that means here will be two, right? And then the uh, magnetic could be what from minus two to plus two, minus two, minus one, zero, plus one, then plus two, right? And then they also have what their spin. They also have their spin. So their spin will be what uh, uh, plus one over two, comma minus one over two, plus one over two, comma minus one over two, plus one over two, comma minus one over two. Plus one over two comma minus one over two plus one over two comma minus one over two. Then number of electrons here will what will be eighteen. So let's just stop here for the KL and uh, KL and M shells. All right. So now we are trying to make observations, right? We are trying to make observations. The first observation we made from the table was that the total number of electrons that can be found in the shell is given by the formula two n squared. And we used to find the number of electrons in each of all these shells, KL and M shells here. Right. Another observation you will notice is that there are no two electrons. If I'm taking each spin to be an electron, if I'm taking each spin to be an electron, another word observation you make is that there are no two electrons that have the same value for all four quantum numbers. Right. So observe. Look at the principal quantum number one, uh, principal azimuthal, magnetic, and spin. There are no two electrons that have the same value for all four quantum numbers. This value. Different from what this different from this different from this. All right. So only this zero and zero seem to resemble here. But if you see the other quantum numbers, they have different values. You get. So now check the other one. Two, one, this and this. This one is even completely or different. It's, it's kind of, this one is even having similar one small similarity here. This one does not have it. Neither did this one would have it. So this observation was made by uh, a man called Wolfgang Pauli. Wolfgang Pauli in 1925 in his famous exclusion principle. Just let me get a marker in his famous exclusion principle. All right, so it was made by observation was made by Wolfgang Pauli in 1925 in his famous exclusion principle. Exclusion principle. Now, when he made this observation. They called it the cornerstone, the cornerstone of chemistry. They called it the word the cornerstone, cornerstone, stone of chemistry. So you have to take note of that. Now the police exclusion principle is what was called what the cornerstone of chemistry. Yeah, because when he made some observation, a lot of people, a lot of he made he made headways in the world in the in the chemistry field. All right. So now Wolfgang Pauli made this uh, observation that there are no two electrons that have the same values for all four quantum numbers. So uh, in his famous exclusion principle in 1925 was when he made what this observation. So in general, Pauli's exclusion principle said that no two electrons in an atom can have the same value for all four quantum numbers. So no two electrons in an atom can have the same value for all four quantum numbers, they will be or they will be different. They will have a different or set of values. Now, that's that's an observation. That's one part of this class you have to what, take into what consideration. Don't keep it back of your mind because when we do electronic configuration, you will see where this uh, observation is very very relevant. Now, all the quantum numbers we have discussed. Please do not forget to like this video. Just give it a like. A like means that what our uh, other students will easily find our video. Right? Do not forget to subscribe. Subscription, clicking on the subscribe button below this video is showing that it tells you that whenever we release a new video, you will receive a notification on your phone that we have released a new video. Subscription is free. F R O E E. You are not paying anything to, to subscribe. So just click on rest play. It does not do any harm to subscribe. All right. So now you have to take note of this what uh, uh, principle. We are going to use it in electronic configuration. Right. So this is where we are going to stop for today's class. We have seen all the four quantum numbers. Right, the principal, the azimuthal, or the subsidiary, the magnetic, or the third, and the spin quantum number. By now, you should be fully abreast about all of them. So go back to each of them and what and watch them again and see what they are. And then you follow me carefully.
to electronic configuration. My name remains Owolabi Tangod, your best chemistry teacher. See you in the next class.